Hello my all the junior champs of second standard this is Rohan sir your english and grammar teacher as you all know i have been sending you the video some interesting video of your lessons so that you can enjoy the lessons and learn it at the same time and this is the grammar lecture today and i have already sent you the video of our second chapter yesterday so again we are going to resume and continue with the second chapter which we were doing since yesterday so students as you all know first of all we always go through the objectives of the lesson so the objective of the lesson is as same as we did yesterday what is an article again we are going to revise that again we are going to revise what are the vowels and consonants and which alphabets are included in vowels and consonants respectively and now along with correct use of a and n we are going to learn the correct use of article the as well so this one is added for today right so we are also going to learn the correct use of article the so these are going to be our objective for today so i hope you all are going to carefully watch this video and when even i ask you to repeat after me you have to repeat uh, some instructions after me so that it will be easy for you to remember those instructions and few things are very much important for you to remember and to pronounce it correctly right so let's get started okay so as you all know yesterday we started our new chapter in grammar chapter number 2 articles right so let us just revise the topic before we start the new topic or new exercise as you all know that revision is very much necessary so what we did yesterday is we just solved the warm up warm up exercise for the first part of the lecture and these are some picture and fill in the blanks we solved yesterday isn't it we all got to know which are the alphabets included in the vowels so which are the alphabets included in vowel a e i o u so these five alphabets are called vowel in grammar correct so i hope you all remember this as this is very much important particularly for this chapter right so if you find anywhere these alphabets you have to always put n before these yes let us again solve one of these pictures so that you will be easily able to recollect the yesterday's lecture say for an example we are going to solve this blank a so carefully read blank owl what you have to put in blank so first if you want the answer of blank you need to carefully observe the word written after the blank yeah so what is the word owl and the word owl starts with alphabet o o w l correct so if alphabet o is vowel we have to put n if not we have to put a so a e i o can you see o here in the list of vowel yes so as o is a vowel we need to fill the blank with n correct n owl right this is what we solved yesterday correct and also we have been we have gone through this definition i will repeat once more for you n is used before words starting with a vowel sound a is used before the words starting with consonant sound these words are called articles now n a n a both are the articles right now you all know what is vowel i already informed you in yesterday's lecture even i told you what is a consonant still if you don't remember let me tell you that in english you have uh, alphabet a to z right so here we have only selected five alphabet actually we have not selected this is the grammar rule 
only these five are vowels a e i o u right so other than these five alphabets the remaining ones from a to z are all the consonants for example a to e so where has b and c gone where has d gone so b c d these all are consonants same with the remaining ones yes so now i hope you know what is a consonant yes so and then after understanding that topic of vowel and consonant we solved exercise 1 of our grammar chapter 2 yes now i told you that few blanks i have kept as it is for you for you to answer it even i have sent you the pdf of grammar textbook so i hope you all have solved the blanks but still many of them are confusing for you so i will solve it today from first and second exercise respectively and then after we are going to move on to the remaining exercises and then also we are going to learn how to use article the which we haven't learned till now which i haven't explained you till now correct okay so yesterday's lecture in yesterday's lecture i solved two or three blanks yes in starting and then i just gave you the hint to pick out the blanks with a vowel starting word yes vowel starting word in the sense the word which starts with vowel alphabet for suppose orange so here the starting alphabet is o so it is a vowel same with elf the starting alphabet is e so vowel yes so i selected few words not few words actually i selected all the words with the vowel starting and then i give you the hint to put n before the vowel correct so let us solve few blanks today you, which you might have as a doubt in your exercise so let's solve this blank first blank c dash ant now i hope you know the meaning of ant right and if you have seen black colored ant uh, you know most probably you can see it in the rainy season uh, on the compound or anywhere where the grassy uh, floor is there lawn area is there you, you might have seen ants yes if you are you know some are many big it can even bite you yes you, you may start bleeding by the bite of an ant see you may start bleeding by the bite of an ant I told you the answer so this is how you need to practice so it's very clear now that we need to put n before the word ant correct why it's very simple the word ant starts with alphabet a and again I must say a e i o you these five are the vowels so if any word starts with either of these five we need to put n before that particular word as word n starts with a and a is a vowel so we need to put n before the word ant correct let us jump on to the blank g dash elf now you might be wondering what do you mean by elf so we haven't heard this word elf right so here i have brought the photo of elf for you see if you can look here this is the photo of elf correct this is not in a real this is uh, you know a supernatural man in a cartoons not in a real correct this is an imaginary man but the name of this imaginary man is elf same like you haven't seen santa claus isn't it so but still you give them the name you consider it is a god in a foreign countries many uh, like many countries consider them as a god so this elf is like a same supernatural man this is just an imaginary not a real correct so if you have seen this photo now as this man is imaginary so the man has vanished see it was imaginary don't you think this was a magic yes your rohan sir also does the magic sometimes 
एनीवेज लेट अस गेट बैक ऑन टू द टॉपिक आई शोड यू द फोटो ऑफ एल्फ करेक्ट सो व्हाट टू राइट हियर सर एल्फ यस दोज आर शाउटिंग एट द होम्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज एन एल्फ वाई जस्ट लेट मी राइट द आंसर फर्स्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज एन एल्फ वाई सो now the same formula the same method to solve the blank the word elf starts with alphabet e and a e i o u in this e is included in the vowels list so if it starts with a vowel we need to put n and the beginning of the word let us jump on to the second exercise and let me solve one or two blank from this two so that it will be clear for you if you have solved you can just verify your answers too yes so from here let me solve the last blank let us just first read it out dash grasshopper is bigger than dash ant now here the word grasshopper starts with g and now you know a e i o u only these five are the vowels so G is not a vowel, so we are not going to put N. We are going to put A, okay? Because the grasshopper starts with G, and G is not vowel. G is instead consonant, correct? So you need to remember that if it is not vowel, it is a consonant, correct? So now we have solved half of the blank. A grasshopper is bigger than dash ant. Now, ant. Don't you think this is very easy? Yes. So this doesn't need any more discussion as we can put directly n over there as the word ant starts with the alphabet A. A is a vowel. Again, the same thing. Correct. So I hope you all are genius and you all might have solved the. blanks of exercise 1 and 2 by now correct so now let us move on to something more interesting in the topic of an articles let us just read the instructions given here to understand the use of article the now read these sentences an aeroplane is flying high in the sky The aeroplane is carrying many passengers. Wait, wait, wait. What is wrong with both these both sentences? You must be wondering why in the first sentence an is written with an aeroplane and why the is written in the second sentence. And you might also be wondering that aeroplane starts with a which is a vowel. So we can only write an and not the. but students here where the twist comes from many a times you have to put the even though the word starts with vowel where do we have to put let us understand so that in this part you need to watch it very carefully so that you will be able to understand the use of the and n and what is the difference between these both and when to use this when to use this etc etc correct so let us read further the instructions given here in the first sentence we say an aeroplane but in the second sentence we say the aeroplane the is used to say something more about the aeroplane in particular so students you need to understand this very carefully especially this part of the sentence yeah the is used to say something more about the aeroplane in particular like if generally we are talking about aeroplane then we have to write an but if we are going to give some more detail about the aeroplane we need to write the to represent the word aeroplane or before the word aeroplane let us again read this and then make the difference let's just find out the hairline difference between the both 
sentences the meaning of both the sentences like an aeroplane is flying high in the sky here generally you know when you see aeroplane in the sky see it is given in the picture here aeroplane correct so generally when you see the aeroplane see the aeroplane is flying in the sky so an aeroplane is flying in the sky so generally you are uh, you know one after the other if aeroplane goes from the sky uh, goes uh, you know uh, flying in the sky you just point them out so this is in general you are talking about aeroplane but if you are talking about that aeroplane in particular you are adding some information such as the aeroplane is carrying many passengers now if you see the aeroplane in front of you, you if you are in the airport like i don't know maybe you have visitor or may not be but if you are looking at the aeroplane if you point them that see the aeroplane is carrying many passengers so you have much more detail about the aeroplane than generally just showing the aeroplane in the sky isn't it so you have used the instead of n yes you are going to get more details about it and you will be more practically understanding this point as soon as you will start solving the blanks let us read the remaining one sentence the is also an article like i said if you have seen the articles anywhere before in the book the is also an article so a and the these three are the articles now if suppose if anyone asks you that what is an article in grammar so you should say you must remember a and the these three words are an article in english grammar correct so the is also an article it is used to say something in particular about a person or a thing like the is used for aeroplane aeroplane is a thing not a person so even the is used before the person's name or somewhere generally the is not allowed before the name yes but sometimes if you see some famous you know if you are talking about some famous person or you know famous article famous thing famous book famous place you use the article the before it now let us solve the blank to understand it in a detail so this is your exercise 3 so let's get started with exercise 3 and what is the instruction given here fill in the blanks with a n or the right so let us see what is the blank number 1 blank number 1 is he is dash artist the artist no because here just artist is shown nothing detail is given about it about the artist right so the artist is incorrect an artist right because generally you have already gone through where to use an where to use a now the confusion only will happen to you is between an the yes so for you the only confusion will be an the these both will be confusing otherwise you know where to put a correct so let us see the answer for the first one first blank is n because here if you can see that the word artist start with a a is article so we have put n in the blank correct if the detail was given for the for an artist we could have put the here okay let us move on to the next blank okay so the second blank is b my father bought dash new book yesterday now here can you find any vowel before after the blank no so my father bought dash new book yesterday here plural is also not there only they are talking about one book so also if you are talking about one thing we can put a otherwise there is no vowel so we don't have any option we have to put a here so the blank will be my father bought a new book yesterday clear let us move on to the next blank blank c i have dash aunt she lives in dehradun have you visited to dehradun have you been to Dehradun students anytime? I must say you should visit there. 
you know it is a beautiful place with a beautiful nature correct anyways here after the blank if you can find vowel yes there is a vowel there is a vowel a after the blank correct because the word ant and means auntie if you call it starts with a so here no detail is given about aunt correct just said i have an ant means someone is talking about the ant but no details are given yes so if no details are given we have to put n before the vowel correct so we have filled the blank with n very clear i hope you don't have doubts so far okay so let us move to the blank e because this is a bit complicated one correct now let us solve that first let us read that first blank e it is dash popular show dash show is watched by everyone now here the confusion starts it is dash popular show so we are talking about one show correct and no details of show are given in the first blank so far i repeat no uh, details of a show is given in the first blank till the first blank so we have to just write a okay so here it is a popular show good it's perfect yes even perfect to listen to it what about the second one dash show is watched by everyone now the details of show are given yes the details of show are given so we shall write the here the show is watched by everyone because the details of show the particularly talk is happening in the second blank about the show so the full the, if we fill the both the blanks now the sentence will be like it is a popular show the show is watched by every one so if it is a popular like i said you have to put the secondly in the second blank the you know bit more details are given regarding uh, related to the show so we have written the in the second blank i hope you know now the difference between a and the n and the yes so the can play the role of n a both but a and n cannot play the role of the anyways you need to practice it as much as you can correct so i hope the remaining sentences you will try to solve it and we will again if you have any doubt i am going to make another video for that too let's see and solve the exercise number 4 so let's see now this blanks are given in the paragraph form i mean to say is if you will solve all the blanks this is going to then end up with a paragraph yes the paragraph is given and the blanks are there within the paragraph and just need to fill in the blank and complete the paragraph till here so let's see let's start solving it and sunday is my favorite day of dash week now the details of week are given if you can see sunday is my favorite day so in this week sunday is my favorite day so if the details are given now you know what to do you just have to put the if the details are given and if in particular we are, we are talking about something so here in particular we are, we are talking about the week which day is favorite favorite in this week correct so sunday is my favorite day of the week it's not w e a k week ah huh? w e a k week means you know a very weak person uh, the person with no strength no stamina correct okay anyways let us uh, move further after the full stop my friend and i always watch the film always uh, on sundays we usually watch dash film in dash cinema near my home now this is bit complicated again but no need to worry you need to just think 
perfectly as I explained you. If the details are given, the otherwise for consonant A, and if it is vowel, you need to put N. So, here we usually watch dash film. So, till here, till the first blank, no detail regarding the films are given. Also, this is a consonant, not vowel. So, we need to just put A because it is a consonant and not vowel. Correct? So, here the first blank is filled for the second line. We usually watch a film. Correct? In dash cinema near my home. Now, after the blank cinema is there and you just need to think. Do we have to put a or the because this is a consonant so there is no option for n correct so just think carefully here the details of cinema are given where is cinema cinema is near my home you are talking about particularly about some cinema correct which is near to your home so you need to put the over there correct so the answer for that will be the let me put into the place and just read it again. We usually watch a film in the cinema near my home. We like all kinds of films. Now the first half part is solved. So let us read it and let's see how it sounds like if we fill the blank with the uh, correct answers. Sunday is my favorite day of the week. My friend and I always watch films on Sundays. We usually watch a film in the cinema near my home. We like all kinds of films. That's it. Excellent. Now let us solve the remaining one. Sometimes we watch dash funny one and sometimes dash action film and so on yes again let's see what can we do and let's understand how can we put a the and etc etc so let me tell you first sometimes we watch dash funny one funny one means funny one film means one funny or you know it is just you know uh, like a phrase sometimes we watch dash funny films instead of films they have written one so one in the same but no details of funny films are given details of films are given but film word is not there so here particularly they are not talking about anything they are just saying funny one that's it no further details are given for the funny one no name nothing is given for funny one correct so if no details are there you need to see that is it consonant or a vowel F is not a vowel, it is a consonant. So, if it is a consonant, no details are given, you need to put A in the blank. So, funny one. Yes, so sometimes we watch a funny one and sometimes dash action film and so on. Again, here dash action film, no details of action film are given, but A is a vowel. After the blank, the word action which starts with a vowel alphabet A. So, either it should be N or the. But like I said, no details of action films are given. So, the will not be there, A will not be there. So, the answer will be N. Correct. Excellent. So, let us read this line again. Sometimes we watch a funny one and sometimes an action film and so on. Wow! Students, how it sounds good, you know, a treat for years to hear that if you speak perfectly. But it only happens with a practice, practice and a lot of practice. It would not happen in a day or two, correct? It would not happen overnight. You have to practice it. You never know how many nights you have to practice to make yourself perfect in a speech as I am doing so. You know, sometimes if you, uh, you can't even answer to your teacher, sometimes you have fear of, you know, being wrong. Being wrong is okay, but not trying is not at all okay. Correct. So, I hope you enjoyed today's lecture as well. Now, you might be thinking, sir, this one is left out. Yes, this I have left for you. And 
even many of the blanks like if you can see blank D blank F even these both are for you in the homework so you can just solve it and try it on your own because if everything I will do you are not going to practice I know that very sure correct so in today's lecture we just revise what we did yesterday that is what is a vowel what is consonant again how to put N A in the perfect places how to use it and then the new thing which we uh, learned is the use the perfect use of the and which I am going to give you in the practice I have already sent you the textbook students I hope you all are going to practice it very well and come in tomorrow's lecture yes so enjoy your day stay safe stay home goodbye